And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. We're trying desperately to stay calm like a bomb <laughs> uh, in this building. Wonderful product, Sirius XM. Uh, and this is The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J Okerson. That's Dan Soder. And this is The Lost Tapes. And this is The Lost Tapes. So sure, it's happening on a Thursday, but... It's Did, was it recorded happening. on a Thursday? No. What? It was recorded on a Tuesday a little bit. What? And on a Wednesday also. And on a, on a nice, simmering Tuesday afternoon. Well, not weather-wise, just attitude-wise. Yeah, it's really... Coming uh, in hot. You know what? I, I stand by a thousand times over. Sirius XM, fantastic product uh, given to you by a corporation and building who does not give a shit about uh, any of its employees except for, I'm going to say three. Cogs in the machine, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're cogs in the machine. They care about three people. Fuglesang, Carl Banks, yeah, and Mad Dog Russo. <laughs> and Puppy Baby Monkey. No, look, obviously, I mean, Howard Stern's got uh, run of the, of the building. Of course he should, as he should. I mean, us having to call him daddy is weird. I don't want to speak on behalf of Bennington and how good or uh, bad they treat them. Um... They have but an they office, are, but they yeah they have an office, and that's and by the way that's authentic. We have an office technically in the comedy office. Well, but do we have an office? Uh, boy, we sure don't because they've just informed us now, while we're in our fight to move studios, that if we don't get all of our and I'm going to quote this even though it's not a quote, bonfire bullshit out of the fucking out of the office by tomorrow it's being thrown in the garbage or we can have it put in storage. The things that uh, that you, the campers, have sent us. I find it offensive that they're just going to put it out on 48th Street with a note on it. I mean, sort of. They, they're they saying that. It's at our storage, which storage, you might as well just say goodbye to all of it. Yeah. it we'll, we'll never get that back. We're going to send somebody to a store. It's like the end of fucking uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when they go into the big warehouse. Yeah. At the end. That's all storage is. Storage facilities uh, are They're for never going to find it. They're it's for like, bands to write classic albums. Yeah, what do we have, a fucking evidence locker? Yeah. We have an evidence locker here? Going, I need to go to the bonfire. Christine, lead me to the bonfire evidence locker. <laughs> I need to crack this joke. Yeah. Uh, I got a lead on a cold case. Did someone... Now, the dog dildo tells me. <laughs> yeah. The things we've gotten. Yeah. He uh, goes, hmm. goes, they were fans of rare, eccentric music. Mm. Gary's Little Red Book. Mm, Kung Fu <laughs> with their posters. Do we have to take our show enough off the wall? I mean, might as well just. Our listen, posters, Lou? I understand that. I could stay. Wow, cool. Our uh, post- how about our posters? Our posters, the, the ones that are not hanging on the wall, have to go to storage. Son of a bitch. So we don't have them all hanging on the wall. It's impossible. No, there's some really cool ones that are in their tubes, but they must go too. No! I mean, you have to be shitting me. No! All right, fine. Here's our negotiation. Where the fuck is Jacob? He's, he's hiding. Here's my negotiation tactic. We move to Studio we don't 10. We negotiate with terrorists. We move to Studio... No, this is a good one. You'll like this. We'll move to Studio 10. We'll figure out the, uh, the seating arrangement to make that work. We'll go in Studio 10, and Studio 10 is ours. I don't give a shit if other people use it, but we're going to decorate the shit out of it. It will become ours. They won't do that. No? Well, Guaranteed. I guess we're staying in Studio 5. Five for life. And, uh, Five. I, I would fill out paperwork. Life. <laughs> I would fill out paperwork every single day. Four, two, yeah. sweet. Oh, wee. <laughs> yeah, dude, bring it. I would. Uh, I'd file paperwork every day to make sure they can't move that stuff to storage. And I'm going to say right now, if if you don't let us either keep Studio Five or our stuff in the office. I'm going to move into Sirius. I'll sleep here. <laughs> I will move my sleep cover bed into the common area, and I will live there. How about we just come in late night, in the middle of the night, Yeah, go into Studio 5, and just decorate it with all of our shit. I just like make it idea. our studio. Yeah. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah. Can we just come in at like 2 in the morning one night? Yeah, you just got to act like, you know how they say like you dress for the job you want? Just dress the studio for the way you want it to be. Dress Mexican. That way when other, yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think that's ever been a- If we all wear sombreros and bring in mops, we'll be fine. Until, like, those janitors are moving at such a pace. <laughs> the sombreros seem a little on the racist they go, side, but... They, go, they, go, they must be here for the, sombr- for the mariachi channel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're, we, uh, think we, we're, we're, we have a late night shift on the maraca. 
uh, New York's only. <laughs> they think we're trying to be we're trying to be racist. They think we're just a creative mariachi band. That's it. They go, oh, you guys are all dressed as janitors. That's cool. Let's walk in with acoustic guitars. We're like, sorry, we got a little practice in uh, Studio Five. Yeah, then we just come in. But I'm saying we go in and we dress the studio for the way we want it. Why don't we just do that? Can we just do that one day? They'll take it all down and throw it out. Huh? They'll take it all down and throw it out. I'll fucking fight somebody. <laughs> That's exactly what will happen, I'm sure. Throw right. it out. All right, guys, I have a modified idea. Why don't I move into Studio 5? <laughs> <laughs> they can't throw it out if you're here's in there fighting gonna, back. What, what if do. we just fight back, man? I won't leave Studio 5. I mean, Belco experiment. Oh, dude, this will be great. You have to well, sit through all the other programming in Studio 5. I don't care if I'm playing Spider-Man in the corner on my TV or my, my fucking sleep number bed. I'll tell you what, if we just started, if this if this whole place went Belko experiment, if it went just Hunger Games in the building, as long as we formed an alliance with sharing our, our slot time in our show, Godfrey, yeah, that gigantic son of a bitch, if we form an alliance with him, we'll win. Yeah. We'll fucking take this whole He'll place just over. Take Studio Five. <laughs> Who? God. And then Godfrey's one thing. And did you want to hear things afterwards? He gets Studio Five. No, <laughs> no, that was the whole reason we fought this. Okay, <laughs> fine. We'll right, move to Godfrey. ten. It'd be great. He's gonna though. flex for us, and we're gonna go. Ah, shit. All, All right, right, take I, Studio Five. I guess we'll go back to the Bennington Studio. You got it. You got it. Sure. Um, I, 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 yeah, Dan, sleep at it. <laughs> Someone's gotta fight back. Yeah, we have so much cool stuff, and I know there were some talks about trying to get some sort of like Comedy Central studio for us and Nikki, and we have so much cool shit to decorate a studio with. Studio five. I love Studio Five. I'd like to see Studio there, Five should be Comedy Central Studio. You can't tell me at four o'clock one day that the next day all of our shit's going to be thrown out. Like I'll go tomorrow and I'll organize everything and make sure it's all taken care of because we have so much cool stuff that's been sent to us by people. Hashtag Studio Five <laughs> and at Comedy Central. Did put you it see? Out there. Uh, did you see somebody put on Twitter the uh, Office Space? No. The meme with. Uh, uh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna need you to move to the basement. <laughs> That's great. Uh yeah. Uh, Jacob looks flustered. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Jacob always looks like he's working on a space Jacob, what launch. happened? They tell you you gotta move it right now? Is it what's wrong? Is there cloud cover? Do we not launch until March? <laughs> Hang on. Black Lou. Yes. Can you stay on your chair? Are these panels up here? Yeah. That push up yeah. in the ceiling to hide, hide our stuff. stuff, dude. Yes, <laughs> let's hide our stuff in the ceiling. In the ceiling, it's the Studio Five. Why don't we hide our stuff in the ceiling? And then that way we can bust it out like it's a drug stash. Jacob, let's hide our stuff in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, I the think panels we're come board. out. He said, "Yeah, we can hide it like stacks of money." <laughs> my room, true. my roommate who's a drug, <laughs> my roommate who's a drug dealer in Tucson used to do that. All of his money come was on, in Bla- the panels. I'll do it. I'll dude, check. Dude, you want to check? Maybe there's Howard Stern gold oh, up there. Hell yeah, yeah, dude, we could put so much stuff. <laughs> and I know there's like metal. Hey, you remember Officer and a Gentleman? I, I do, but what's what I'm this is forgetting? How, uh, Richard Gere got caught. Oh, tapping the keeping thing. the buckles up there. Louis Gossett Jr. knew he was <laughs> hiding stuff up. Can't get nothing, I'm not gonna lie. Can't get nothing by irony. It evil. might take a little elbow grease to move one of these panels. Shit, dude, watch me do it. I just pushed. It, I just <laughs> pushed squirrely. it. And it didn't go quick. I'm squirrely. God damn it! I'm playing a lot of Spider-Man. So I'm looking at these vents. No, oh, dude, are you playing it? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, really? Because you were yeah, all... Yeah, we went home last night and Christine fell asleep for two hours, so that was awesome. So, but, I mean, you got to play Spider-Man, which is pretty awesome. It, sure. I was more sitting there stewing that she goes, I'll be back in a second, and then went to sleep for two hours. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. <laughs> As a napper, good move. I mean, that's a long nap. That's a I, drug nap. I thought I was going to meditate for 10 minutes how do and you, I just fell asleep. How do you... What? How do you meditate? Laying down? Yeah, shut Dude, I promise you, she's one of the dumbest human beings ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Nothing you about sit her makes up. sense at all. No, you should ask me a like corpse pose at the end of yoga. Oh, that's yeah. snapping. Uh, uh, <laughs> you sit uh, up. The whole thing is just blech. I know. Um, I don't know if these things <laughs> move I enough to get anything up there. Yeah. I. Uh, we can get stuff up there. Studio 5, we can pack a bunch of stuff. I don't know if they move up. We have to check. You got to check the roof of the studio. Jacob, I'm going to fast pitch. Elevator pitch, buddy. We're in a conference room. I want you to pitch this to Comedy Central. Studio 5 becomes the Comedy Central studio. I, d- I had some progress today, so oh. just wait before you go to DEF CON. Well, oh, Jay's already the, there. <laughs> Where's uh, I'm, gonna break, I'm gonna break a window. Yeah, I. Uh, Jay's, Jay's, already, already Jay's already threatening civil war with the rest of the floor. You want to go through this one foot glass over here? Yeah. <laughs> Dunk. Dunk. Where do you want to go? I'll take it low where it's thinner. Yeah. The guy you had me having an on air mo- uh, argument with yesterday is actually working on it. Really? Yeah. Did he start off by saying "fuck you want"? 
<laughs> Can I ask you this? Was he in cowboy boots? I said, I'll tell you what I want. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah you, what you really, really want? Did you want to? Jacob, how about you this? Wanna, <laughs> you want to zing a zing a zing a zing a zing a zing a If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Was that about swinging? Uh, <laughs> the no, Spice Girls? I think it's like yeah, I think you're down. saying her your friends have to like, it was much more little girl innocent yeah. than that. Oh, okay. I thought it was like you gotta fuck my friends it right. does sound like look that's how we all read it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jacob has a sound for an idea yeah. you fuck we all come the Spice Girls <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> and then you get to be with Mel B <laughs> I uh we come in the middle of the night and just completely decorate Studio 5 with all of our stuff yes and I or and or and or I move into Studio 5. Also, Dan could just move in. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. And when the, when Series Hits 1 comes in, mm-hmm. and they go, excuse me, you can go, no, I don't mind, and just go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I just turn over, I go, do your show. Yeah, he goes, he goes no, 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 no. I, know, I know this is a place of business. <laughs> yeah, I go, sorry, hold on. Wait, I go, I'll tell you this right now, you get me to do a sleep number read, it is going to be for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just in, Ed Sheeran has something new. <sighs> no. Fuck you guys, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, hey, have a good show. Yeah, that plum-faced ginger just wrote a new song about a girl <laughs> who might or might not have dated. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, guys, flip that switch and start telling everybody that that guy's attractive. <laughs> Beaver's really hot. <laughs> this is like a church... Uh keeping a uh, for like political assignment uh, asylum person in the studio oh yeah stay in, maybe dude. that'll work I'm saying if you stay in a there. shut in dude I'll do a shut in all day are, are, yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do a goddamn shut in I'll do a complete shut in I'll sit there chained to that couch with Dan oh, while they in? while they run every show they run in that dude, place I'll filibuster I'll filibuster we'll never the leave. shit out of that studio you want me to filibuster that studio I'll just go in there and talk the whole time like you know how fucking congressman can you can filibuster yeah. a bill I'll just go in there and be like just keep talking and another thing is the bonfire provides to the end they're like Dan Soder filibustered for two <laughs> days until all until security was called <laughs> showing you saying things that don't even make sense to it it goes shut down those bulldozers I go like, there's no bulldozers these no. trees will go nowhere <laughs> bring That's- our boys back from Vietnam we're just, old, we're just trying to get Olstein live man we're trying to get Olstein live he goes live in two hours yeah it's Olstein he goes the lord wants you to go home Dan oh interesting you should say that because I was in the mood to sit here and listen to some Olstein play it Play. I'll listen to the whole thing. It just shows me sweating an hour in. He's just clearly ripping people <laughs> off. Joel Osteen. I mean, forever. What will make me laugh? I actually told Trish the Dish about this recently. Is when we saw him in the lobby of Sirius and the amount of security. I know it's because he's rich, but as a man of God, you really. If you got to walk around with a hit team, how close to you he goes, is the Jesus? Lord? Is uh, he goes. Jesus is my savior. That big seven foot tall son bitch right there is Jesus. That's my shepherd. Also, that's Angel. Yeah, that's Junior. That's Michael. Ironic. Uh, he goes. These are. Uh, that's Judas. I almost didn't hire him, but his got resume a was weird. Feeling fun. about him, Peter Paul, <laughs> Joel Osteen, and they all. You go, Peter carrying. Paul. He goes. Paul's a bit of a Mary when the lights go out. You know what I'm saying? But it's all but right. But guys can still get good security. A, you, he uses an AR-15 like a paintbrush. <laughs> he goes, I have been to some real dicey places with these boys. They uh, Joel Osteen. They don't respect us here, Jacob. They How don't. do you feel about that? If someone has to walk the halls with these pieces of shit, <laughs> do you feel like they snicker when you walk by? They go, "Those are the little comedy boys." <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I don't like it. I I want our own studio, but yeah, it's we employ Jews, blacks, whatever fucking hairy thing Christine is, mm-hmm. a Polish, a Polish. I'm um, feeding. Well, you're not Polish, right? Baby. Uh, for this purpose, I could be. Yeah, yeah, please. I mean, for the rest whatever of you are is probably not that sympathetic. German? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think? I don't think you have a, a warm ethnicity. <laughs> yeah. Actually, working this show was how they punished uh, Lou Whitsky. Yeah. By making him work with blacks and Jews he goes, and women. He goes, what you, and I gotta treat him like they're my uh, my equal. I use the soundboard as an instrument. Don't you understand? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, it's Lou's. Lou, your phone's ringing. <laughs> Ring tone. <laughs> That's, Lou's alar- That's Lou's alarm on his phone. You gotta wake up. <laughs> DJ Lou, it's time to start the show. He goes, Und stragen, stragen. He goes, nine more minutes. <laughs> he goes, he goes ah, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I wake up and my fjord's got on his makeup. <laughs> I say a little prayer for you. So they don't like us, Jacob. It's pretty obvious. How do we change that? Do we flirt? I'll flirt with everybody. I don't <laughs> care. Do we got to suck? What was the problem? Me, it's the, a Me Too moment. I don't care. What's our big deal? We were playing Paris Hilton porn a few feet away from her. She didn't see it. Whatever, by bro. Whatever. We missed on purpose. It's the big deal. We sat here and drank soda with Kiss. Yeah, I got talk. I got talked down to by Gene Simmons with his old man face and his yeah. young man hair. He tried to fucking lick my girlfriend's pussy and gave yeah. me fucking soda on air. Yeah, he called him. He called Jay a bad Jew. <laughs> he said I was pretty much useless, except if it was in prison and I was getting boofed. Yeah, he's beautiful in prison. Then didn't want us to make fun of Paul Poundstone. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were having fun. And we were having a blast. It. And now <laughs> you're telling me we don't have a home in this place. Hashtag suck my We dick. don't have a studio? We can't keep our stuff here? What's going on? Are we breaking up? Is this even I mean, on? Are we on the air right now? Happening at the same what? Time. Nikki Glazer going through with all this? Nothing. What conversation you had to have with her about any of this, Jake? Did they, did they give her two offices? Nikki and already she... has to start also two minutes before. Because I did a little look. I don't see any headlines about LL Cool J doing something with the station. Are they fucking giving Nikki our studio? <laughs> Eric B. and Rakim are no, going for her. premiere. <laughs> huh? That's when it'll premiere. It's a new show. And she's also getting... Her bump- show? No. no. The LL Cool J oh. show. Uh, she's getting bumped for salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. old, <laughs> yeah. old, hip, old hip-hop legends are coming Be to a shitty one like Michelle A. Yeah. She's like, move, bitch. <laughs> um, here's what we do. We take an office. Viking style. You down? I, I'm totally down. Let's just her. dominate it's, somewhere. Yeah. Let's not leave until they meet our demands. Oh, man. Let's airheads it. Why can't we not leave until they meet our demands? You could, we could do a sit-in in Studio 5. I mean, you, there's yeah. Wi-Fi. Luke can get duped by some fucking hooker while we're sitting in the studio. <laughs> yeah, you bring Spider-Man. That shuts Jay and I up for a good three hours. <laughs> <laughs> some snacks. Some, mag- some of those rag magazines that Christine can w- read. Black Luke can skip taking a private jet to a high ally tournament with his in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need to be at a Formula One race in a, in a white mountain country in Europe. <laughs> Lou doesn't have to try to. Lou doesn't have to stare at a pair of European uh, swimming trunks and yeah. think, "What the hell am I going to do with this?" Yeah, I'm sure Black goes, Lou would love to be here on a Sunday instead of watching people ski jump. <laughs> You're going to have to use the restroom eventually. Well, we go in shifts, dude. Chock full of nuts, man. Dude, we 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 go out in pairs. There's fucking six of us, dude. And we put our shit cans right outside the door. Let them know we're serious. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll, I've I've dreamed of shitting in a can for as long as I can remember. Oh, uh, we got a great poster you of Christine. Would in the can and then put it outside the door. Yeah, hell yeah, well, hell yeah. But I, gotta, I would be in the room. Yeah, so, so you just got to watch it. You guys, you guys would hear the sound of. No one it, said it was going to be easy. What poop snakes out of me? You can make my desk the bathroom. It's a little yeah, it's a corner, dude. We could turn that. Plus, studio. we get a great poster of Christine squatting over a chock full of nuts, giving double middle fingers. It's <laughs> pretty badass. Yeah. Pulling her panties away from her from her butthole and cooch, and just hearing that double middle finger. Just hearing that piss hit the can. Oh, girl piss? <laughs> yeah, the pitter patter. Directionless. <laughs> it's directionless. <laughs> it's just pure chaos. Comes out like a fan of piss. Yeah. They have no idea what they're doing. They constantly have a thumb over their hose at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's <laughs> pissing everywhere. What are you, pulling a fucking school prank with a water fountain over there? <laughs> yeah. The fountain's for drinking, not for playing. Uh, <laughs> dude, we could do this. Well, they hate us. <clears throat> what happened all of a sudden, Jacob? What? What happened all of a sudden? with the, Why are we... Why is this shit raining down all of a sudden? I think it's coincidence that it's happening at the same time. I think it's a message, mm, dude. It's really? Like summer's ending and everybody's all back. And hello, Cool J's ready, ready to get back up. to radioing? No, oh, man, yeah. He's summer's gonna, over? No more fucking crime scene investigations to pull off? Do you, dude, he solves it with Chris O'Donnell. He solves it with the scent of a woman. Robin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Cool J and Robin? He goes, Robin. He goes, can you please stop calling me that? Oh. Apparently it's a three-hour DJ show. From- Live. I think so. Is that live? Tell me it's live and I'm going to pour the soda all over the yeah, soundboard. Live. I thought mean, they don't do live DJs. Can we get anybody on the I fucking don't phone? Under, I don't know. I told you. I was like... I told you it might not happen. Can you just relax? <laughs> you don't like, no, I like, I, even the live DJ. Why were we told for two years there's no live DJ? Because every time they told us no, they were like, yeah, no, no one uh, no one live DJs here. <laughs> fucking DJ Lou sweating his ass off. Call somebody, Lou. Let's all get fired right now or let's win. All right. I think it's for a channel that has live shows on it. It's not one of the music 
Can J DJ on LL Cool J's new channel? Get me Theodore Von Sirius XM on the phone right now. He goes, well, you can't talk to Senior like that. Maybe Junior's on the phone. He's an Anguilla right now. <laughs> Go ahead. It's Topher J Sirius the third. <laughs> we don't do live DJing, but it is LL Cool J. Do you understand the power that LL has in the black community? <laughs> He's the future of the funk. I'll tell you, since 1982, he's been like a Pied Piper, just leading black people to piles of money for me. <laughs> so I gave him his own live DJ show. I want to talk to why... Is Jacob there? Sacrifice him. So, Christine, do me a favor, why don't you Google this real quick? LL Cool J, uh, three-hour DJ show, <laughs> first ever live DJing on Sirius XM. That should be probably news, right? <laughs> Is that not going to be news? For the first time ever, they're dropping their guard. I don't know if the and letting live DJ How about we just do? How about we just? How about we just do this, dude? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see. How about we just? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Cool J launches exclusive Fantastic. new Sirius XM. Does it say anything about how yeah, live it's going to be? Turn place. that shit off, Lou. <laughs> I mean, you could call it a comeback. Uh, I'm not doing that one. If we're doing one, we're going to do one of the good ones. Does it say out of Studio Five? It says, <laughs> "Fuck the bonfire." Wow, that hurts. Ooh, this makes me angry. Why don't we just do this, dude? Why don't we live DJ one of our shows? Yeah, that that, that was, was been suggested. Let's just live DJ. Just music, no laughter. <laughs> what about That's his right. DJ battle? <laughs> no, not <it> his. <laughs> I, I don't scratch, dude. I, I gave up those scratching. <laughs> no, days. Gonna sh we're gonna trade hours. Yeah, no, I'll go. I'll do the first hour, and then I'll lead into Jay's hour, and then we'll just go home. <laughs> That's it. I, we'll might even, I might even go home in the second hour. What, what yeah, they done? might pack it up. Dude, I'll do what? Like, you want me to do five speed breaks? We'll be like uh, fucking Howard and Fred. You'll stay after your shift, yeah. do some sound effects for me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do some light character work. Light character work, then I'll get the fuck out of there. I got a wife and kid to get home to. Um, what's this stupid channel called? Rock the Bells. <laughs> Pretty cool name. Huh? Rock the bells. A little good. overused, if you ask me. He almost, I saw Jay just eye up a can of Diet Pepsi to throw at Christine's head. <laughs> can I? Do you think it would pounce off her head, means. or would it just would it empty out on the way there? <laughs> yeah. Torque. Because I really want the ding off her head. <laughs> I want a crow hop right into it. <laughs> she takes I'm it, not, too. Am I, missing, oh. I don't understand the reference, Rock the Bells. Check out. It's one of his songs, oh. and then there was also a tour that he had nothing to do with. <laughs> I'm going to need you. I only know Deepest Blues. <laughs> Deepest Blues. For real. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. For real, that's the only song. You don't know Mama Said Knock You Out? Oh, that one. I know. Uh, yeah. You've I never just... done squat thrusts in your apartment <laughs> to that? <laughs> <laughs> only the live version. Dude, I love that Jacob's only knowledge of all Cool J is Deepest Blue, but had it like a shark's fin. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is the this, greatest. Uh, I think that's awesome. Yeah, I do think it's awesome, too, dude. This blows. Yeah. What, just being utterly disrespected? Sorry, everyone, for all the wonderful stuff you sent. If we couldn't eat it immediately, it's being <laughs> <laughs> thrown yeah. out of a fucking 36-floor window. Apparently, Sirius has a shoplifter's mentality where you have to wear it out or you don't get to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Can I suggest you take your barbecue sauce home tonight? Can I suggest you fucking no. mind your goddamn business? And Christine, I'll tell you, this is a very big thing in my personality. I'm not going to sign off for the moving into storage either. I want them to throw my shit out so I can live in that horrific anger at them for the rest of my life. That's I will, what we're working on. <laughs> I will take a storage unit that uh, is a pretty reasonable solution. Cool. <laughs> That'll give you $200 one day to go find our stuff in that storage unit. When you have to dig through fucking uh, like the Ark of high, the Covenant. Yeah, that's what I said. The Ark of the Covenant. You got to fucking. He goes. All right, I'm gonna dive through a pile of high heat channels. Nonsense. Dude, that'd be so goddamn funny if just it was a like, fucking baby pool full of oh, signed look. balls by CC Sabathia. Oh, look at all this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all this Insight Radio merch. Oh all these, yeah. All You're these... be fucking swimming through a sea of that. Yeah. And you see, he goes. You know what's not here? There's not a lot of you up stuff. Oh, look There's not at a lot that. of you up stuff. He goes. Oh, I guess they use them all to decorate the office. They're making us send our show posters away. Jay, what if they? What if they were like the ones oh, that are up? Are up? But I have duplicates, and like the original Moon Tower thing has got to be put somewhere. What if you just heard them be like, "Oh, well, you ups on the thirty eighth floor," and you go, "Excuse me." 
<laughs> yeah. And they go, what? <laughs> what? They go, yeah, they, they have the corner office on the 38th floor. They have their couch and their sauna and their bathroom. You come again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Comedy There's Central. Bottom. Cryo chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Just crazy Nick, shit. Nikki has her indoor track. <laughs> Upstairs. She has an indoor track. Where is she going to Yeah, run? it's only a half mile, but. Yeah, don't worry. Then, like, she was not happy about it. But, yeah, anyways. Oh, you, I guess you guys have a storage closet up there. You could put your stuff. You're like. He goes, no, no, not up there. I mean, like. Uptown. Uptown. We like have a storage unit. South Bronx. It's in the South Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> it's right over off uh, fucking Derek there's, Jeter in 198. There's a homeless guy outside. His name's Tito. He seems menacing. He's yeah. actually really cool. Oh, off eight, Crazy. Uh, I off, mean, bad shit, though. Yeah, if you go, it's off uh, <laughs> Pettit and uh, 849th Street. <laughs> it's just like a simple little small storage unit for you. I, oh, oof. It's going it. to be fun. Here's what we do. It's complain everywhere. about it more on our show because mm-hmm. yeah. the more we complain the more it upsets our fans the fans go to the people the people have the power the people's power is how we're gonna pop pimples on piper's pit by the way some people, to some how people many actually, were there jacob answer yeah, the riddle god damn it. how many peppers were how there how many peppers were there picked if peter could pick a pickled pepper <laughs> Piss pig. <laughs> yeah, let's test out these new pop screens. Popping and pop. To, I'm gonna pop this place out of the satellite. I'm gonna pop the satellite. Out of this stuff. <laughs> hey guys, let's all scream right now. See if we can break the satellite. You ready to go? <laughs> this little kid things. This is yellow. Yeah, if anyone needs me, help me out front digging a hole in China. No, I'm gonna be out of here, Jacob. I know it's not you, but you're our mouthpiece to the world. Uh, I'm. I'm taking care of our stuff. I get it. They can't do this. Oh, they're doing it. The they're not taking I'm, care of our I'm stuff. I'm worried about is the dead rat helmet because it's fragile. I can't put it into storage. It can't go anywhere, and we're going to use it again. I assume. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So fight for your right. Although somebody it's a party. had it in his hand, ready to toss it in the garbage. <gasps> oh, what? Blue. what? Blue. It, keeps it, it keeps it right by my desk, staring at me, and it's this piece of shit, broken down helmet. Whoa. Let's just rip it down and build a new one. No. Oh, build a new one. Well, then find me a place to put it. Which would you rather have, that stupid rat head or our posters or other things that I could put in that place? Stupid rat head. Stupid rat head. Well, then put it by your goddamn desk, Jacob. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) Jacob. Stupid Stupid rat head, he calls it. (laughs) (laughs) You don't like your helmet, Lou? I don't want to wear it 356 days a year. You don't have to. There's <laughs> <who's doing laughs> a weird number. What's <laughs> happening with the other eight days? Are those your vacations? Are I'm you just wearing saying, it when we're not around? I'm just <laughs> saying, Jacob, get it out of my fucking life. And get out of my life yourself. <laughs> guys, guys, what's going on? Wearing what's happening? I say eight days, guys. Soon the ninth is a travel day? <laughs> 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 what? He's worn a total of two hours. I am sick as a dog right now, Jacob, and you were catching every germ I got, you motherfucker. I fucking know it. You guys, you're, you're sick as a dog? Yes. Really? Yes. What do you got? He loves to come in Why are when you he's coming fucking to work? sick, and then he puts the fan on, coughs into the fucking fan, so it's circulating. Black Lou's nodding. Him. Black Lou's nodding, too. Why is... is no, stop. I'm you're breathing on everybody. You, Lou is patient zero for all colds. You've never caught... All you've colds. never caught a cold of mine in our seven years working together. <laughs> you've never caught one cold. If we made out, you would never catch a cold. I didn't have a fucking cold for 15 years until I moved into that room with you. Now I get a cold every fucking year. (laughs) Guys, let's just kiss. You guys should kiss. 15 year record. Yeah. I'm going to break that rat head. That rat head is going down today. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to, on the break, listen to me. And they probably heard this on the Tuesday show. I'm going to walk to Target. I'm going to buy a sleeping bag. I'm going to make both of you lay in it together. <laughs> <laughs> face to face. There's a new target. <laughs> yeah, right? There's there a, new, a target. new target. Right there. I'll buy a fucking sleeping bag and make you guys crawl in it. Jacob, just so you know, when you were out, <laughs> when you were out finding out that they're not going to change anything when you changed, uh, Lou licked your uh, seltzer can. Yeah. I walked in with it. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, if we build a new rat head, will you be happy? Yeah, I just okay. want this. I don't want to get blamed. I don't want to get blamed for this rat head because, yeah, it's like a big deal. Yeah, you don't want to relax, Johnny down. Rotten. The way he's yanking that mic over. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah. <laughs> Jacob is the problem. Jacob is the problem. I don't like rat heads. Jacob is the problem. This is what I don't understand, is that Sirius is a beautiful facility, but it's constant, like, there's shit stacked in the windowsills on every windowsill. Yeah. It's not a beautiful facility. In, it's constantly being, it's by the time their renovations are done, they have to start renovating all over again. I have They just been. keep moving down the line. They, they renovate. And then they come back and circle the beginning again and start renovating. All I have, and it been goes nowhere. Harass. In my 16 years here, I've never seen it not being renovated. There's yeah. always yeah. goddamn so then why, who everywhere. Is, who is the facilities woman? Who do we need to talk to? Because there are things like the dead rat helmet, where it's like, no, that's where that needs to go. It needs to stay on that windowsill, and that's where that happens. So who do I need to talk to tomorrow? Because Uh-oh, I'm fine to go ahead. Mama and head. bear. I'll fist fight any of these fucking suit wearing treadmill. Days. They think they're in good shape because they're on treadmills. But it's not once the stuff moves out. I'll pack up stuff, but there are certain things that we need to be able to keep. That's the only thing that I know that can't be moved. Guys, if you're listening at home, here's what I want you to do. Take arms. Um, Charge the serious, but no. Do you, you know how long that write a letter. To build? I know well, then it, take it, it home, you like cocksucker! Who should they be? Who Why should do you hate it so much? Do you like, does it tempt you? Because it's the, it's like an eyesore, and I have to stare at it every single minute, and it's just, it's ugly. It doesn't it's yours. Who you are. It's not, a, if it's mine, then I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it so badly. <laughs> you better go to HR right now. Break no. bonfire history. Well, not anymore. It's a one, it is a wonderful piece of bonfire history. Well, then someone take and put it in a museum. I think. <laughs> and and, and well, tell me how many days are in a year, because I'm getting hot. You're never going to be dead rat right again? The dead rat right doesn't live? We could redo it better than that shitty little job. Yes. We could absolutely do it shitty. better. We could absolutely it's, do it yeah. better. Well, well, we could do it shittier. But Jacob did a great job. We, no, I know. We all, we all slept that on that. That shitty job took me forever to make, so well, I'm not redoing I think it's perfect. I didn't say it was a shitty job. Get it off my lawn. Get your fucking... Get go, off my lawn. Go find some doctor paper and go fuck yourself on it. Oh, an asshole. Oh, this roast battle. Yeah. Fuck like a champion with that. Guys, Cunt. can we find a happy medium and put the DJ Dead Rat in the ceiling? Oh, yes. <laughs> just have it crash down on someone. Dude, that'd be great. Not only that, but Lou, you were very close to... You just flipped the the numbers and how many days are in a year you said 356 there's 365 thanks I'm all hot it's okay Jacob yeah I said there was Jacob. nine there was nine more days yeah I know he was saying he wanted to be corrected I was saying to you let's hide the helmet up in the ceiling that way no one has to look at it and it stays like a time capsule uh, look I'm fine with <laughs> and then when a satellite falls I've from the sky to hide something in a ceiling tile <laughs> we're gonna do it we should I'll tell you what we're gonna do when we walk over to our studio at five to check this out I'm going to check which panel we can pop open. Yeah, seriously. And let's put every... By the way, let's put everything up there. Well, here's the thing, Show Jay, enough. You can't... Fucking don't, everything I don't want to put show enough up there. I like that painting too much. I love um, it. That's why I want to preserve it in uh, our chest. But also, we need to look at how much weight it can hold, because I think a helmet might be... That thing's heavy. You're heavy. I hope yeah. it bows the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want her coming into an inspector. I hope it starts a, I hope it starts a wire fire in the ceiling. No, don't say that, dude. If we burn down the fucking building, and then they're like... I don't want to burn it down. I just want a little scare. <laughs> Jacob, is there liter- is there supposed to be nothing in any windowsill in Sirius and now they're trying to crack down on it? Is that the rule? Lou, are you having fever sweats? Yeah, I'm very not not okay. You do not look okay. Yeah, should we sub someone in? Should, like- should you go home for the live show, dude? Do you want to... Uh, <laughs> you, you want Jacob to give you mouth to mouth? Mm-hmm. Fill you full of healthy air? I'll be okay with that. <laughs> are you uh, are you God, feeling all right? Should you happen. go home for the live show, dude? <clears throat> do me a favor. Why don't you guys lick no. each other's hands? Uh. <laughs> it sounded uh, like an erotic. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. You always know my spot, Lou. Uh, <laughs> my hands are sore. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> huh. Let's take <laughs> our first break. Um. Okay. We, everyone was. Jacob, in the stop middle fighting, of, please. Uh, God, just find out these rafters open up. <laughs> Lou, please. Are you okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you Are you really sick? I'm just a uh, common cold. I have. Okay. Great. <laughs> no, Which no. is now your common cold. Yeah. Something that you can't take antibiotics for and get rid of easily. All right, you want me to go home? You want me to go? No, I don't want you to go. Is it true you were wearing my headphones like a Bane mask before I came in? <laughs> Hi, right, my name is Big J. Watch me do crowd work. I was pussy. Black oh, Have you ever been with an Asian? <laughs> you haven't. You haven't lived until you've been with an Asian. I didn't think I'd be able to see if it's a good impression of me, but it was, Dan. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Let's take our first break, everyone. We'll be right back. Uh, as for now, it's a bonfire. <laughs> it's no, you gotta go. It's 
The bonfire? It's the bonfire, <laughs> 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, <laughs> I, Studio 5. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. We're watching uh, Post Malone's Rockstar. We've never watched the music video. It and it's a samurai. It makes me like the song less. Yep. <laughs> this video. Also, it's really hard to watch 21 Savage rap I after can't. you've seen him be Amber Amber Rose's just I, like... I have a hard time with it, too. You know what I mean? Absolutely. We've I, talked about it after we... Baby, you so good. You, you tried so much so good for so many people, And then he's like, I'll be fucking bitches now. They don't like me. That's just basically my Pete Davidson. I ain't with the cake. I ain't with the cake. But it's... I find it... The thing that always takes me out is like, does Post Malone hang out with dudes who make that thing go ta ta ta? Uh, no. I mean, I, he might. He, he might, is. dude. Uh, he's a much more dangerous man than I gave him credit for. That's the reason we played this song. Well, he lives. He uh, it's certainly either, has escaped death twice is in it, a very short amount of time. Yeah, is it, dang, is it danger? Is he cursed? It might be cursed. You know I got this monkey paw. <laughs> <laughs> you know I got this tiki emblem in Hawaii just like Greg Brady. <laughs> yeah. I got this haunted mask from an antique shop. <laughs> from an Asian doll. <laughs> you know I'll be coming back from Japan holding this Asian doll. <laughs> like, he... I found this weird lamp when it washed up on the shore. <laughs> yeah, man, he was in a plane crash. Uh, people died, I believe. Can you look that up? How many people died? And then just uh, like a couple days ago. It was ago, in a car accident. That people died in. And then someone tried to break into his house. It's, really? Yeah. More? More. Yeah. It's saying, here's, it says, uh, here are all the terrible things. I mean, that like, he, 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 he can't do shit if you break in and take any of his stuff. He goes, oh, man, you're going to take my car. He goes, I like to sleep on the floor. Can we hear Post Malone talk? I bet it's wonderful. I, I think he, it's just so weird with all the face tattoos because... It's he like, gets like one a week. It's like if a guy in your neighborhood... If you look up images of him, it's like week every week he gets more face tattoos. I uh, I was texting with Pete. To, he was like... I was like, hey man, come to Queens and watch the watch football. We mm -hmm. haven't hung out. Because we were supposed to hang out last week. We never hung out. I'm yeah. like, come, over, come to Queens. We'll order pizza and watch football. He's like, come, come to my apartment. I have a tattoo artist coming in from LA. And you're like, oh, okay, dude. How many more tattoos do you need, dude? I was like, you have enough tattoos. Come to Queens. Be a normal person. And he was like, no, come here. I'll make sure that the Niners game is on. Which I know for a fact wouldn't happen if I went over there. That he wouldn't. Although, I think he is just yelling it into the air. Yeah, and it happens. Direct TV AFL Sunday ticket. And like, if, if it doesn't just happen, someone comes and makes it happen. Yeah, they go, oh, hold on. Oh, here's Post Malone talking. That really changes the the way of the world. So move somewhere because whenever martial law is declared, you have fucking or whenever the credit cards fail, whenever your why does his hair be so fail, gross whenever like your that? Banks fail and you can't. That's why I cut my hair. I cut my hair for the exact thing that's happening to his hair. Yeah. Get out of where you are because that's when they're no, coming. No, Christy, I need to talk to him. I need to see him talk with face tattoos. I bet every tattoo changes the way he talks it's a little just bit. Just a little dumber and dumber. I mean, could you imagine being in his crew? Because when you're in a crew like that... If he's a heavy metal guy, it just feels weird that he's genuinely writing songs with terms like, like shatas in it. Yeah. But hey, bring up the... We in Montreal. Shout out to Montreality. It was super lit tonight. Too much... Uh, yeah, he's got he's got like that like shout out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Montreal. <laughs> it's lit. Here yeah. we go. This might be good. Oh, you know, there's a lot of people that are super dope and they're just scared to believe in themselves. And I think it's important to um, just be yourself and express yourself, no matter what nobody fam. says, because you know yeah, I was good for him too. But <laughs> good for him. Get he's also got a little bit of like X Games athlete voice. Yeah, where he's like, ah, you know, I took that ramp. Uh, and the other team's been working on the bike all week. Shout out to Fox Racing, and uh, you know, we got the jump done. I'm not judging him. I think he's kind of falls into that world of that's like what modern kid rock is now. Mm -hmm. Is this up. guy? I love your boys. Pull up on the block and go rata ta 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 rata ta ta ta. Now, now here are all the. But terrible. you know what I'm saying though? It's yeah. like he's got that hip hop influence, but he said he comes from like metal background. Mm -hmm. He's not really talk. I really thought he was going to talk different. Yeah. I was. Here's what's here. this? Him playing guitar. And a free meal. So I said, hell yeah. Let's do it. What kind of food was it? 
Italian. <laughs> I like him way better without the face tattoos. I want to hear him play guitar. I grew up listening, <laughs> listening to everything. Yeah, you know, from like Biggie Pac to Megadeth and yeah, you know Stevie, you everything. Great. Yeah, man. It's so it's nice to to have a huge exactly, range, you know? exactly. So it's like you know, um, because I just want to. I, I chose everything. to talk like this though. <laughs> I mean, this the way I talk right here is a choice. Cause really, I talk like this. <laughs> Hi. Put up with my bullshit. I can't even leave my bedroom, so I keep pouring. And I ain't seen a lot of day since. Well, that's not important. It's been long. He rocks and rolls so hard he broke his heel stomping. True that. True that. I, uh, <laughs> well, here's all the terrible things that happened. This is the reason we brought up Post Malone, because like I said, he got in the plane and he had a monkey paw. <laughs> <laughs> now he's in the car and it's flipping because he got that tiki tall. <laughs> 38,000 feet just realized we don't have a pilot. <laughs> I'm trying to fly this plane. I never just, I just been in the simulator. <laughs> I, I saw real, Top Gun about 20 times. Uh, I want to write that. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> On August 21st, Post Malone's plane was taking off from New Jersey. Uh, shout out to, uh, fuck, what's it called? Oh, what's the name of the private thing but it's by Bananas in Hasbrook Heights oh Teeterboro because me and Gary Veter smoked a bull in the parking lot very close to Teaneck yeah hey shout out to Proximity of Teaneck um, I think I'm doing that Bananas at some point which means maybe DJ Lou's gonna come hang out I will there's a Sonic Burger right by there it's a real shithole yeah goddamn right it's it like is a, it's like a hotel ballroom yeah. right no green room and I got bumped for a quinceanera on the Saturday night <laughs> no problem get paid <laughs> I mean, I got bumped like to the back room where they keep all the folding chairs, which, uh -uh. I, kept, which I kept referencing. Is that true? Yeah. I go, if you guys don't wow. laugh at this joke hard enough and I hear any bass line from a Pitbull song, I'm going to rent a room upstairs and hang myself. I got to look at my calendar. Are they fucking, are, are, they, are, they, paying, are they paying quotes? Are they paying quotes? Yeah. They, you pay quotes. And you just come through, and then I come through, and I have a mediocre set like brata ta ta. <laughs> <laughs> they make me break down the stage afterwards. <laughs> I mean, it was one of those things where the crowd was like super on board because it was like funny because it was just me making fun of myself. Where I was like, you know, you know, your career ain't shit when the fifteen year olds fucking when a fifteen year old girl's a Latin fifteen year old girl's birthday is like move motherfucker move the clown <laughs> to the back room. I got bumped to a back room for a fat Latina. That girl is dancing on the stage like. She's 45. <laughs> She's only 15, but she acting 45. So on uh, August 21st. <laughs> she may be 15, but she has a big bra. <laughs> She's going to be having kids by the time that she's 17. <laughs> on August 21st, Malone's plane was taking off from Taterborough on its way to foggy London town. Two, two of the tires exploded. <laughs> Holy shit. The pilot kept flying the plane for hours before attempting to land safely. So there were no injuries. That's, by the way... Apart hilarious. from the plane itself, there were no injuries. By the way, it's really hilarious. It really shows you how shitty people are. They'll go up. Yeah. As, uh, I landed, guys. He wrote, I landed, guys. Thanks for your prayers. Can't believe how many people wish death on me on this website. <laughs> Fuck you, but not today. Really? Wow. He's Anyone who's nice, I mean, if, if you were like, I don't give a fuck about One Direction, if you were like, they're on a plane, like, I'm not, I would never hope. Look up TMZ's tweet about Post Malone's plane and see the responses from these fucking garbage piles. Because by the way, people, I I like Post Malone. I don't, I'm not like a fan of his music, Me but either. I fucking get it. He's out there doing shit. It's all these people that are like, but you know, certainly if they're like, like wish him dead, that's such that's bad a weird karma. thing. You think there'd be bad karma on yourself. However, it's bad karma on him. Just go down a little <laughs> bit. Next, um, Post Malone at 3.30 a.m. on September 7th. So that was less than a week ago. A Kia crashed into Post Malone's white Rolls Royce in Los Angeles. Again, no one was seriously injured. Oh, nobody was. Okay. Uh, oh, so, so no one's gotten hurt in any of these things yet. Uh, then be, They're post, all just terrifying. Yeah, post Malone tweeted out, God must hate me, LOL. And then, according to the report on September 1st, so fucking six days before, three armed robbers forced their way into Post Malone's former house in the San Fernando Valley, all while yelling, where's Post Malone? The burgers reportedly stole an estimated $20,000 worth of jewelry, cash, etc. I mean, that's that happens in threes. But in no instance was he actually 
in, in, in any danger? I mean, the plane, he was definitely in, in oh, the car. Are you accident. nuts? Oh, yeah, Jacob, how Sorry, dangerous is your the, life? The last one. I've Jacob Knievel. What do you think? He wasn't like he wasn't operating his Bentley via remote control. He was yeah. in it. Jacob was like, the old drive your car without being in it trick. I know that one all too well. Oh, plane tires blew. I thought this was a problem. Uh, oh, what a pussy. Only only a real pilot can't, only a fake pilot can't land Why don't that. you just grab <laughs> Grab a parachute and hug each other and jump the fuck out. Stop being pussies. So point break. So that's three. Point break. That's point three. Break. That is three Bodie. things. <laughs> he goes, catch you fags later. Bodie. He goes, the tire <laughs> blew. He goes, post. Your face tattoos look dumb and there's one shoot. Suck it. Bodie. Point Bodie. Break. <laughs> point break. Yeah, point break. 50 year storm. <laughs> Just I opens the door. Jump out. Goes, hey, catch you creeps on the ground. Point break. Point break. <laughs> Bodie, <laughs> Bodie's the best. Bodie. Bodie. Utah. Someone goes right behind him without a shoot. Utah. He goes, oh shit, he took the only shoot. I'll go get him. Utah. <laughs> <laughs> when you jump out of that plane, you better say Utah. <laughs> <laughs> When you jump out of that plane, you're going to say Johnny Utah. I just want to talk like that, because it's so dumb, and I like it so much. <laughs> Jacob says you were never in any danger. Uh, Jacob doesn't like it when Lou Blue's on the microphone. <laughs> no, he was on. Oh, wow. He he's got fucking... Danger. It hit him on the driver's side, too. No, he's fine. He's fine, Jacob. Don't worry about <laughs> it. He's good. I'm sorry. I missed Yeah. Right. <laughs> Live great. the moment. Yeah, get on top of her car. <laughs> It's just a Rolls Royce, everybody. No biggie. I mean, biggie. this is, this is always the most crap. fun part of a musician's career, because it's like, you can look at him in that interview with that weird German guy, and you're like, rehab is about three years away. You know you what I mean? From Post Malone? Yeah. Probably. Because he's, he's getting that puffy drunk face, where you're just drinking all the time. No, I think he's just like a goofy looking dude. I think he's a goofy looking dude, too, but oh, I think, also, there is, yeah, he's, I, he's I think he's adding puff face with booze. And drugs and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's living. He's on fucking tour all the time. Yeah, he's living it right now. Yeah. Hey, you know what, man? You got about three albums of that. Yeah. And, and then, you got to get it together. Then you so got you. to go to Christian Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Make a Christian Rock opera. After three albums of smoking crack, you have to stop doing that. Ta. <laughs> yeah, he looks uh, pretty beat up. I mean, but those are three fucking major things happening to you all in a row. Car, a uh, plane crash. Oh, is this him? Oh, he's happy to be alive. Let's hear him talk about it. Dude, I always love... Can I tell you something right now? No. My friend explained this to me. Uh, the first time I met my friend Mark in college, uh, we had a mutual friend, and he was coming to meet me, and I was hungover, standing in front of my dorm without shoes on, in jean shorts and a liquor t-shirt, smoking a cigarette, and it was bright outside. And, he, and my friend Mark, to this day we're friends, and he, he lives in Portland. He's like, dude, I never forgot walking up, meeting you. I was like what kind of piece of shit is this kid? Because I was just smoking a camel light and the sun was in my eyes and I was like, yeah, man, I'm pretty fucking hungover. What's going on? And it just, uh, it's the exact face Post Malone's making in this interview. That's what made me laugh thinking about it because you're just like hungover smoking a butt outside and it's hot and the cigarette's hot and you're like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear what he says. Host. Hello. How's it going, man? Hello. How's Fantastic. it going, man? Fantastic. Now. I feel way better now. Huh? What the hell was that experience like, dude? Honestly. I don't know. I, you know, I fucking hate flying. So, like, we took off. We took off, and apparently there was a sensor in the back that, like, flipped out, so we landed. Mm -hmm. And then we were, okay, I was like, fine. Okay. This is cool. And we took off again, and then we just heard the tire pop. It was like, mm -hmm. pop. And then, like, fucking, I don't know if it was smoke or whatever, just, just coming in. And we're like, shit, this is not, this is not good at all. And then... Do you believe in a higher power, or do you just believe you had a really goddamn good pilot? I don't know, man. I didn't see Goddamn that. good pilot. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it was, huh? I flew in oh, goddamn numb. I fought choppers. <laughs> I took out so many Charlie that they had to name me Chuck. I'm sure I could, <laughs> I'm sure I could handle getting... Post Malone. Back oh, you know what Post Malone safe. looks like? A boy that we'd pass around in the Marine <laughs> barracks back when I was in Nam, chomping through North Kong like it was goddamn taffy. I bet all the fucking, uh, all the not face tattoo goofy white came out of him when that plane threw off. He goes, he goes, no! he goes, 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 he go
tires blew, man. Because we don't have a landing mechanism. He goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have what? He goes, so, so we don't land. He goes, so part- guys, what are we gonna do? I swear to God, if you get us out of this, I swear to God, if you get us out of this, what's his real name? What's his, what's Post Malone's real name? I'm not sure. I look. Uh, yeah, because he goes from Post Malone. Post to Johnson. <laughs> it's, it's Post Shivowitz. You're like, oh, really? And you change Austin. He goes from uh, Post Leibowitz. He goes. Uh, he goes from being Post Malone to Austin real quick when that turbulence hits, and he's oh, like, yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? When we get there, we get, we get to London. We gotta fuck some bitches. He goes, oh, 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 oh. He goes, oh. What's that, yo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on with like, the plane? The the pop. He goes, what's, what's going on? I just heard a pop under my seat. We cool? Yeah. He goes, uh, all right. I just want to let you know this, Mr. Post. We, uh, we're having a problem. We, we're not going to be able to land the plane. He goes, okay. 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 I'll like, he takes the teeth out. He goes, Okay, Guys. But, but I'm being serious right now. Should I call my mom? <laughs> is this the last chance I'll have to talk to her? Because <laughs> that picture is so perfect for being what he is first. He goes, yo, don't even worry about it. Yo, I'll yeah. talk to the father. He goes, yo, P, hey. that noise, that's hey. like, that hey. was normal, right? Hey, air captain. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, you the boss up in here. What's going on with it? Cause air driver? The, air, air driver. Hey, you like a bus driver, but in the sky. What's going on? That noise, uh, that's like, that's normal, right? That's incredibly serious. We're going to have a problem landing the plane. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Chris Farley? What? <laughs> we are not going to be able to land this plane. What? <laughs> He's rolling a blunt. What's up? He goes, what do what y'all mean? Dude, that's fucking nuts. Yeah, I'd lose my shit. But people... Wishing him death. Did we did find, you find that? You, you find, find the, the tweets? tweets? I'm found. I, I, I'm found? <laughs> I'm found. I'm lost. Were lost. <laughs> I didn't find the date. I went back on um, Post Malone's. I'm trying to find it on TMZ now. This is some screenshots from Instagram. Yeah, but I feel like these are fans of his on his. I guess you'll get hate too. It was a comment somebody, but I'm keeping looking. By the way, I love some people just comment no matter what. He goes, I'm in the air. It looks like we're going to have to crash land this thing. And some people are like, if age is only a number. Yeah. What? <laughs> I saw something that started so with that. He goes, what? They're like, okay, you're going to die, but I got the first comment. So I'm most important. By the way, do you see Lil Peep's real name and the people also searched for? Oh, Gustav Elijah Ahar. <laughs> I didn't realize Lil Peep. I thought Lil Peep was going to be like Peeperson Johnson. Yeah, just, Peeperson you know, Jones. Yeah, Dave McMillan. Yeah, go to Lil Peep. Who's Lil Peep? Dave Peeper. Dave Peeperson. <laughs> Dude, he's got a shit ton of face tattoos too. Why does everybody have face tattoos? It's just in style right now. About Let's ten years it. ago, it was a chest it's tattoo. Gustav. Oh, here's Godfrey. Should we tell him if post-apocalyptic out. comes? Grab Godfrey real quick. Oh, uh, just say I think he's going in the next door. Get in here, Godfrey. Godfrey, we've brought you in to you make. Wanna, first off, great shirt. You just you look fantastic. You look fantastic. <laughs> I, uh, per usual. Per usual. Coming in looking great. I just want to say we're not going to keep you here. I know you got to do your uh, show soon. I have to interview one of the Braxtons in about five Tony? minutes. Which one? Tony? Which one? The other one. The other uh, one. Uh, What's her name? No, Tamar. she's Sheila. Tamar. Tamar. I was going to say Sheila. But she's doing a show with Sheila Snoop Dogg. Braxton. They're doing a play together. Snoop, her and Snoop are doing a play together. Oh, for real. Does, I, I does can't just see Snoop, Snoop in a old. play. Yeah. People are like this. You, I said I love you. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Look Damn, at girl. Nose. I told you I love you. Oh, and oh, Juliet is your son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I prick, do I not believe it? Right, Juliet, <laughs> you know, why don't you come out, oh, out that house? Now nah, I mean? Oh, for Damn. Why your parents be tripping? To be or not to be? That's be the question. You got some weed up in this piece? Montague is a bunch of bitch ass Mark, bitch. <laughs> yo, yo, what yo, happened? Yago's a bitch. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Can't stand Yago. Oh, oh Thello, for shit. Yo, where's McBeth? Yo, Horatio. Man, I love that dude, man. Yo, Horatio, I'll catch your ass in the street. Hell I'll, yeah. Shakespeare, you know he got, baby. He got, he got super into <laughs> fitness. Yeah, did he? Oh, Snoop? Snoop for a yeah. little bit. He, he, he's always oh, looks been hilarious, into, though. He's it's always like been into sports, fitness. but he will never change. No, he's got his tall his, long. His, he's long. His, his arms are too long to develop. Yeah, they're like, and, it's like. And Snoop. 
is so cool that his motion is too slow. It's like fluid. so. Yeah, he's so cool that he can't build muscle because yeah. he's too cool he for goes, muscle. I never do a bench press. <laughs> Hell no. It just kind of fall down on my <laughs> hip. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whenever I push, it I up, can't just no, imagine no, no, going. No. I just finished lats. Yeah. He, goes, he always I just do lats, lats, baby. He always oh, has four can. bitches holding the weight <laughs> to each side, just lifting it for me. Yeah, have bitches. He's like yo, yo, why your bitches so built? Because they lifting the weights. They dead lifting. Yeah, dead lifting all day. Dead ass. Dead ass. For real, oh, nothing get me harder than a strong hoe. I ain't said a strong hoe. My, I know one muscle that get hard. Oh, yeah. hard all day, <laughs> hard. All day. Yo, I'm coming up lifting these benches. You gotta do I got these yeah, he's, like, he's like, I'm crib walking. That's cardio. Yeah. Dude. That's, that's <laughs> burning calories. Burning calories, Kevin Sly. I wish you all could see Dan Soder's <laughs> face when he gets calories. into Snoop. Yeah. It's so burning great. Calories. He like closes his eyes. Yeah. Like a real Snoop Dio double just <laughs> trick of 40. Trick you of really transform yeah. it. You gotta live that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mix my you, I mix my OE with whey protein. Goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know that dude Dan Soda. Yeah. I'm gonna get that dude, dog. I, I heard doing. he can do me real well. High rep, high, high weight, low rep. <laughs> build, build it up. Hey, PR huh? day. Hey, you eat carbs? What about the carbs <laughs> and the proteins? Oh, uh, Snoop Dogg, double G getting C U T cut. And, and you know Snoop Dogg is coming out with a protein. Yo, I got new protein. <laughs> yeah. It's called it's Hell the, Yeah, yeah dog. The, it's Hell the dog yeah. powder. Hell yeah. Get that dog powder. <laughs> D O double G powder. He goes, I'm adding. He goes, get gains. It well, you know, you know, all gains, fool. Gains, you know fool. Gains, fool. You know he sells uh, oh. dick pills. I'm sure he does. Yeah. But I mean, really good. But he, but he keeps saying in the commercial, basically, he goes, oh, it ain't for me. I'm saying if you want to be like me and have a hard <laughs> mm-hmm. you just take it. I mean, no, I, if you're some whore, people, when you got to say whore. 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 When, when, they do hit my whore. Whore. when they do hit my age sometimes, people have a hard time getting yeah. whore. Talk, getting dude, whore. I, just, I love all the hip hop, old hip hop dudes getting into fucking pill games. I love pills. it. Dude, I would love e, like an E40 dick oh, pill. Oh, man. Like, Ooh. I be getting harder than a rhinoceros when I be getting But you know what they need they need uh dmx uh, yeah. tell you, to get hard it's time to get back <laughs> staying limp yeah <laughs> it's staying limp. i know it, it's hard to rock so strong it's illegal <laughs> <laughs> and then here comes ja Rule. whatever happened to my baby i'm trying to get my dick really oh, hard i do it again <laughs> he asked the questions back goes he asked the questions back yeah uh, <laughs> What if I what if I start sweating at night? <laughs> Call your doctor, dog. <laughs> Have all of them do it. That'd be hot. God, what's up, Godfrey? We saw you in the hallway. And we had to pull you in before your show. Yes, sir. Um, because yes. we're discussing creating a. We would only discuss. So the building and business here, Sirius XM, has turned on us completely. <laughs> they they want don't us like to us anymore. Get all of our stuff out of the comedy office. They're trying to switch our fucking studios. Really? And I know you got to go, but Damn. we just want to uh, uh, form an alliance right now. If this place ever goes hunger game. Belko experiment. I said the bonfire plus Godfrey show. Boom! We own this place. Yo, I might be able to come back after my interview. Do it. Okay. We're going to have Mickey gone later, so maybe, yes, come back. back. We've discussed it. That is an alliance. It's a golden alliance. It's a golden alliance. So much that we lied to him and said we'll be here when he gets back. And we won't. But we won't. But I'll tell you this. We'll go to war with that son of a bitch. <laughs> Will I tell him the truth about where we're going to be in a minute? Yeah, yeah. No. Listen, you keep your enemies close. Your Godfrey's so good at radio that he comes in and we only when they ask him the one thing, we go, we need you for like two seconds. And yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> two minutes later, he's sitting down doing impressions. Yeah, we're like, all right, we're in the 30 minute section. Uh, you can't stop. You can't stop a comic from talking. Uh, yeah. Um, Gustav Elijah Ayer. False, also known as Lil Peep. Oh my God. What a dumb. That would make me not a fan of his anymore. You know, that face, that eyebrow tattoo? Then when he goes home, he goes, Yo, Dad, guess what? I just went platinum. He goes, Oh, that's very exuding soon. Ooh, Gustav. <laughs> Where was he Ooh. born? It's called Post Emo Revival. Well, we <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> And I'm sad, but I'm streaming. and you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tattoo, my forehead, and fuck it hurt. All these bitch ass players. I'll play one of his songs. Look at him. Isn't the whole thing now these guys are all very vocal about pill addiction? Yeah. Well, not that. <laughs> are their addictions and like they're bisexual and all this kind of shit? Just a bunch of pilled up. Just a bunch of dudes all whacked out kissing each other. <laughs> I really think it's a bunch of pilled out gay guys just yeah. fucking girls once in a while to keep an image. But they're, yeah. all just, they're all just fucked up on a couch like this. 
Like, guys, you can be gay and not a pill addict. I mean, all the girls, all the girls in the videos aren't hot chicks. He goes, it's all of his fat friends that he hangs out and does gay shit with, just so, <laughs> just so he could cop pills. <laughs> it's all of his fat girlfriends. I mean, was he tatted up like this in high school? Is that look at his hair? Doesn't he have dreadlocks now? Parents have no control over their children anymore. How old is this? Doesn't he have dreadlocks now? I thought he's a dreadlock guy. Oh, wait, it's Awful Things featuring Little Tracy? Get to Little Tracy's part. I'm Little Tracy, fuck you. <laughs> is this Little Tracy? Uh, this isn't hip-hop. Why does he look like that? I thought he was, isn't he the Gucci gang guy? Hold on, just go to the, I want to see the little, who Little Tracy is, because... Is that little Tracy? I don't think so. Probably. Just, all right, well, fuck it. Go to the Gucci Gang song. I think he has dreadlocks now. Little That's a little pump? Yeah. Oh, this is different people. Yeah. These are all little, little Pete. Little I meant Little Pump. What's Little Pump's little real name? Little Pete's what's, dead, right? What's Little Pump's real name now? I'm Didn't Little Pete die? Oh, One of them no. died. I think Little, little Pete, Pete died. Little Pete died. Of pills. And there he is. Yep. Death, November oh, yeah. 15th, 2000. Go, Wait, go, died in Tucson? Go up. Look up Little Pump. Oh, wow. Listen to that. overdose. It's his parents' fault. Poor guy. I don't care about that. Dying in Tucson. Little Pump. Wolf. Oh. Little Pump, real name? Yes. Gazzy. Garcia. That's not as bad as I was. No, that's actually kind of a fun name. Uh, Gazzy is a pretty fun name. He could have just Honestly, God, he should have made himself Gazzy Garcia. Yeah, yeah that's a cool awesome. last name. <laughs> name. He, goes, he goes, well, Jay Okerson's actually, that's my stage name. My real name is Powers Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Funny McHilarious, uh, but I wanted to go by Dan. Because so, uh, my parents were assholes. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, they were kind of dicks. I was Joke McPremise. <laughs> Let's take our break. What do you say? Let's second break take here. our break. And we'll be back after the break uh, for you. Take another little break. But when we take get back from this break, minute, break, so much good. We could be fired Damn. during this break. Going down in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Going to a waterfall that smokes some potter down an elevator. <laughs> then Dan's going to go get coffee at a Dunkin' Donuts. Uh -huh. Or maybe at the Cafe Metro. <laughs> <laughs> going to get some munchies and he's going to get a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to keep talking like this. We're going to come back. We'll be right back. We love you. It is the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. I should have been the big bopper. Let's I should have just gone smiles. that career. He's got these smiles and laughs now because oh. I don't feel... I feel this lost tape is going to be riddled with bad news. Why do you think it was be riddled with bad news, dude? Since last commercial. I mean, a lot of stuff has happened. Apparently. Well, I... Look, life's happened. Yeah. But uh, Jacob just sat down now. He's got a very intense look in his eyes. I've never heard Jacob say something more as formal as, I have a statement to make. By the way, Big Bopper, we're doing people who have died in plane crashes. Yeah, because, you know, Post Malone. Post Malone's I was uh, trying to think of... Invincible. I'll be riding in the planes with a hundred tiki toes. <laughs> <laughs> my front plane tires went ra ta 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 The tire went boom boom, my pants went splash splash. <laughs> I'm, oh, my name's Austin, it's no longer, it's no longer a Please God, land this thing, please God, land this sorry. thing. I'm sorry. Oh my God, there's so much on my hard drive. There's so much on my hard drive at home. I never thought about someone that would be a thumb sucker. <laughs> there's got to be someone that's like, <laughs> I hate it. Um... Go ahead, Jacob. What What's is your statement? You're fired up. I can don't you, know if can we get positive light, or bad. Can we get light bulbs and multiple it, microphones, please, Lou, to make this a formal? It's not a big deal. It's no, it's a, a statement. A, Hold it is on. a statement. Let's wait for it. Go for it. This is just, I want to clarify a comment I made Tuesday on the air. Yes. You both, especially Jay, was picking out Apocalypse gear. Yes. And I told him, don't buy Gerber. It's made in China. Yes. I got a lot of flack on the internet for that and I stand by my statement oh! the majority of it is made in China and what you were looking at I saw that in reviews I absolutely believe was made in China oh, okay. Gerber does have a high end line that's still made in Portland Oregon but my job as a producer what is it my bottom line, I swear to God, is to m ensure the show is at its best yes. and my hosts are taken care of. Exactly. If I send you out into the apocalypse world with some shitty made-in-China gear, then I'm an asshole producer. Yeah. Sure. 
Absolutely. And I, I deeply care about Dan and Jay, and I'm not going to give them something that I think is not going to let them survive in, in uh, fighting zombies in the apocalypse. I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you. Last night, I looked at this stuff more online. It, hey, by the way, but, there that, is but here's a, the problem. Can I just say That quick, Gerber kit yeah. is the only zombie apocalypse. I mean, I think... It, machete yeah. and If you want to practice with it, I would say get it as a practice kit. Jacob, I say but to you... But if you, you want to really get something... I say ni hao. Buy the kit. <laughs> there's a there's a, Gerber does make an axe that I would recommend to you, but for the hatchet, axe alone, for hatchet, a hatchet, a hatchet. I mean, now, you're, now you're speaking my language. But the 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 hatchet alone is like hundred and eighty five dollars for one. Yes. So a thousand dollars will get me nine around. But I'm saying hatchet that nine. if you want to buy a good I'm a hatchet, just guy. hatchet stuff. I'm hatchet Dan. Yeah, but we nine hatchets this. is ridiculous. First of all, it's not even. It's ridiculous. Good it's ridiculous. steel. Thousand dollars. Good I'll steel costs money. Okay. You can't just buy a kit. Uh, you're end, you, if you want a good hatchet for the apocalypse, one that's going to last multiple times. And then what, I have, to, I have to become a leathersmith and make my own holster No, it comes it? with a whole holster. It comes with that a molly one kit. Does. A molly kit, which is like a strap, Wait, like a military bring that strap. Up. Bring that up. Bring that Gerber axe up right now with the molly kit. What, what I model? saw it on Amazon, not on the Gerber <sighs> site. So. What, I'm on the Gerber site, and it's not showing up. These but are all the axes. To, I like the one with the hole in the middle of the hatchet. That's nah, the one. Man. I believe that's the one. The 285? That's yeah. made in America. Look at that double one. That the head is made in America, and it's assembled in America, but I believe the handle is made overseas, but I still recommend no, it. I don't like that. That looks good, man. No. Nah. And you get the molly sheet. Listen, I'm Hatchet Dan, and I'm going to tell you right now, no, nah, don't on, like Dan. it. Go back. What? Go it's, back. I'm the, a classic guy, dude. I'm a classic. My, yeah, I'm, I'll tell you what, you right be there. the hatchet guy, right but people there. are going to like my one hatchet. That's what you want no, to use? No, I don't want that. I thought it was Ugh. a wooden handle. Doubtful made in America. <laughs> what are you, working in a shed? I, I, I am. Go Look all the way top head. left. I'm sorry. Dan's working in the shed. Ooh. I'll be out there trying to I would uh, never forage for food and find things, scouting with real weapons. Why don't you come get some of that, dog? Sure, I will. <laughs> Why don't you come get some of that? Because you know where it's going to be? There's going to be one right along my forearm, and there's going to be one out. And then you're just going to come you can catch all these E-Honda hands. I mean, you, you were looking this. to throw these things Yeah, those are, those are my throwing ones. Where's your throwing gadget? Those come from China. I can use those. <laughs> what I think you are. Need. I put them away until we get our uh, economy straight. Yeah, listen. First off, I hide those because I need them to throw. I would buy individually. I think you need to buy individual a hatchet, a machete, a folding knife, and a fixed blade. Can you put? And I can help you with those. Could you put together a list uh, and maybe even help us customize it, and then we could put it online so people could buy the J or Dan kit. Yeah, in one. Can you put can that on an Amazon the, list? I can give mm -hmm. you the folding knife right now. I think it's the perfect post-apocalyptic knife. All right, bring it up. My the, machete game is e it's an easy alpha. choice right there. It's the uh, it's the gator. The black with the hook? The gator bush. No, 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 no. Oh, that's the gator. No, no. Oh, I one. want a gator Second machete one. pro. Second one from the top. Yeah, that one's badass, dude. That one right there. Yeah, what's up? That's the one. What's up? Dude, let's do yeah. this. <laughs> Look at that. You want to be staring down the ass under that thing? No, I, don't I don't think, think so. You do. Oh, fuck, dude. I, wanna, I don't want to be on the spicy side of that. Just fucking taking it. <laughs> I mean, that's a wicked machete. Ah, oh, dude. I know it's not the most like curvy and all that kind of stuff. I but do like the gator tooth one. I'm afraid it's not going to hold its its uh, sharpness. Okay. Why do Why do you say that? Because None of you noticed, but zombie steel, heads, the zombie heads inferior, come right off. They're squishy. We talked it's about. It's going to dull eventually. If you go through the head into like wood. But what if every night by a fire I sharpen it while I tell kids the stories of how the world used to be? Yes, that's gonna be my favorite while I play my harmonica. <laughs> Dan will be playing harmonica, and I'm gonna have we'll my, still be a team. I'm gonna have my eye patch on. I'll be like, there was a uh, a bear that children used to read about called Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I'll be like, Dan used to have two eyes. I go, I did. He just and I'm goddamn up. living dead. <laughs> Lou's playing zombie. Yeah, he's going, oh. <laughs> Lou's just making the noises with his mouth now. I think Lou's our zombie we keep. Oh, hell yeah. He's just tied to a tree. Oh. Have you seen Pearl Jam? Five. <laughs> I just dress him in Pearl Jam shirts and just let Dude, him be for some reason, zombie. He's our, he's our defense. For some reason, I see Black Lou with a bleach blonde mohawk. Oh, totally. Yeah. Just oh, he's going it. straight Simon Phoenix. Oh, yeah, but he's like sitting on his dune buggy right now just picking some sort of thing that you have to like eat and pick and when he goes that ain't what happened you he's know gonna, we're telling oh, stories he's gonna like mini Mr. T yeah he's gonna have ain't. a lot of feathered earrings yeah come on man oh Jay that ain't what happened at all I go 
We're ass end in Sioux City. <laughs> Goddamn dead cocksuckers crawling all over us. Yeah. Jay gets the idea. We miss Jacob every day. He bought us <laughs> these knives. I'm sorry, Jacob. You have to be the one that dies. I have to grab Dan at one point and be like, we found the place before. I go, there we'll find no, another place. There ain't no water <laughs> left. What the hell are you listening to, skinny? You're the skinny one? <laughs> that should be the uh, tagline for all those Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead shows. Yeah. We found a place before. Mm -hmm. We will find another place. There's always another place. There is. It was, if, if no one thought they would end up in a prison, which, by the way, in the comics, they end up to pretty early. Prison? Yeah. That's like the, that's pretty pr quick in the show. It's like season four, dude. Three, I think. Three. I only made it to two. <laughs> Tapped out. It gets so great. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Spider-Man game is fantastic. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man. That's can, a great I hatchet, can, Dan. You're wrong. So we have to build our own kits. I Me and Dan have to build individually our own, how we would do Well, it. what I want Jacob to do is come up with lists of the all the things he named, a bag to carry in it, in holsters. Mine has to have a pocket for knuckle gloves. No, yes. The good one will come like a with the la, la, la Molly. I, I understand holster. you're saying it comes with a holster, but I want like To strap a kit. to you. To strap to your back. I want on my back. I want it all on my pack. All my hips. I, it does. It's yeah. pictures of the guy with the, the axe strapped to his back. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Maybe a thing and maybe a thing in my boot. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a side holster on my hip for a machete. You want it's more of a chick thing, but that damn no, it's, it's not no, at all. That's universal. not at all. That's not at all. It's universal. That's not a chick thing, it's a swap. I'm just saying it's what the it's what they do with the chick on Fear of the Walking Dead. Cool. That's fine. On Fear of the yeah, Walking oh Dead. Oh no, you you, you got want to talk shit to the Three Musketeers? No, talk you, shit to the Three Musketeers. That's fine, Dan. You two and Tomb Raider. Yeah, cool. Lara Croft. The three of you can uh, enjoy your fucking say that. You can enjoy your hamstring guns. Why don't you say that to Zoro, motherfucker? <laughs> Why don't you say nah, Zoro? Call that gay. Zoro was was on his side. Yeah, side. That's what I want. That's not what you were saying. Uh... I thought you were saying like a thigh strap. I'll fight you right now. You said now. a thigh. No, I said a side strap. Zoro was the oh, gay yeah. blade, the by the way. He, he wasn't was the gay, gay blade. blade. Cool. Sure that, that cocksucker could slice you up. Yeah, but it wasn't ever for calling him gay. <laughs> yeah, it was. was. Stop it. That's a Z. <laughs> Z for stop calling me gay. I'm Z gendered. Yeah, Z as in you don't know what I am. I'm me transition. <laughs> I um. I would put something together. If you do want, also, I want a whole I pack. You need like a, a quick release knife. Yeah, like I need something buck, if the shit's going down and I wake up in my tent. The I want a switchblade. Yes. You want the Buck Alpha? I swear by that knife. The Buck Alpha is there rubber handle, so you're not going to slip with blood. I like with that. Those Jesus blood. Christ, I don't like, I like you saying that. that sentence outside of this no, scenario. Am I okay I'm okay with that? Talking about. Yeah. Well, or human if they try to invade no, no. your space. Yeah. But this is post-apocalypse. Absolutely, a man for himself. Again, trying to protect your turnips. You <laughs> and lettuce patches. <laughs> you come up with the list and find us a bag we can carry it in and straps for. No, us. I think on mm. the show we have to pick our pieces. Me and you are not seeing eye to eye on. What All right, we so let's pick the what knives. We load up with, which is good. We need different things. Let's, yes, going let's on. pick the knives. I don't know if he knows. At some point, I'm going to have to get a bow staff to prove my worth. You are. Look up bow staffs real quick. And I'll look up bo. And also broadswords. <laughs> <laughs> If you could look up, should we go full blown pirate though and just get Dude, all pirate gear? Yes, that's all. I the want. guns that have the two, it's oh, the two uh, hammers yeah. on it. Dude, I'll do a tiny elephant gun. Christine type, Christine typed in bow staff and it went right back to this douche that we were watching oh, him. He's got, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude, that is some By the way, sick bow staff work. I got no problem, I can do that. Calm down. No, no problem. Can. Right now. No, you Give couldn't. me a stick right now. I'll There's do it. no way you could do you what you just did. Yeah, I do. Get, I a, st get a staff. Get, find us a bow staff. Get Donna, Jacob, no, get so Donatello here. There's, There's got to be a, a mop handle. I'll get a mop broomstick. I can go look for Yeah, yeah. This is flag girl training. I can do this because I was on flag. Oh, you can't oh, shit, but I can definitely. Christine just, I, uh, Christine just locked down her weapon for the post-apocalypse. <laughs> I could totally Dude, do that. That is pretty awesome. Christine having a bow staff? Let, let her have it. <laughs> she has to wear the uniform, though. No. Or like a, a apocalypse version. I wonder so she has like the general fucking pad on here, like the you know the band war. Yeah. Oh, dude. She and was, then whenever she's I mean, about I mean, to... I only call her flag girl. Where's flag girl? Yeah. She's scouting. She's scouting. And by the way, when she starts fucking zombies up, you just hear a marching band. She's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like, <"Tsk." laughs> I swear to God, I think you're going to say, when she starts fucking zombies, I'm All like, right. she's bound to. <laughs> she goes, I mean, options will be limited. When she starts fucking zombies, she goes, 
she's gonna fuck us off. I go, she's gonna at least give it a shot. I go, Jay. I hate to tell you this, but I just scouted over that hill, and there is a zombie Jason Momoa, and <laughs> yeah. he is hungry. He goes, and they are three zombies going to town on Christine. Yeah. He goes, what? They're killing her? He goes, no, no, she's covered herself in zombie blood so they don't kill her, but somehow she's getting them all to fuck her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she bought them zombie drinks. I can do that. No problem. You cannot do that. No problem, Dan. Dude, dude there's no way you can do right that. Right now. There's no way you can do that. On the streets, they'll throw money at me. <laughs> at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, we'll tweet out this video that Jay easily cannot do. <laughs> You're just wrong. Dude, I believe in Flag Girl. I do not believe in you. You think Christine is better than me? Yes. How about I stick fight Christine well, in between shows? I've been waiting for that since the first episode. Can <laughs> you guys do it? Totally on, stick can you guys do it on pads over water? I'll stick fight like, Christine. Like no, American I'm Gladiators. <laughs> no, like American Gladiators. We're gonna do that. Can we do that? No, oh. I want legit sticks. <laughs> oh, dude. Can I do a circle of rope, a thick roped circle that you guys fight inside? Yes. Yes. And every time she runs out of that circle with my aggression coming at her, yeah, I'll hatch and it. my bow staff skills, I hatch. At some of her bow stuff. Fitting and twirling. She's going to jump out like Daniel's son in the first round yeah. of the tournament of the All Valley. I don't know if you're going to hear her march on your ass. She's going to, uh oh. Christine's fire coming. in her eyes. She's like, Jay, I I said, said, hide enough. the rations. Hide the rations. He goes, it's the flag girl. <laughs> Have you ever seen going? her? He goes, no, but I've seen the damage she's left behind. <laughs> Oh, she's oh, in the shit. trees. <laughs> she's like crouching tiger, hidden dragon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there's eight of them. Oh my god. I look like fucking shit. Billy the Indian in Predator. I just start cutting my chest. <laughs> if it I, I could do this, Dan. No problem. You <laughs> cannot do this. this I promise is a new you. New addition, Dan. Oh, Jacob found a staff. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Jacob. There's nowhere near enough room in here. There's not enough room. Where do we do it? Outside? Can we take it outside? Like I'll, outside? Do I'll do a display for you motherfuckers outside. Uh, dude, you know what we'll do? We'll tape it, and then we'll air it on the... And then we'll tweet it out. It's a little thin, a little wobbly, well, but all right. Well, let's look up both staffs for both of you. Since I mean, it is a couple's thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then we'll sit like this always. With the gloves? <laughs> I'll be like, hey, let I, him pass. Can I get a forearm protector? Like you were, a, no, we're going to get the Falcon, remember? The, yeah. big, uh, the big eagle, the I don't, ghost I don't, face. Yeah, that, that would be cool, but in the post-apocalypse, I'll get killed for it, so I'd just like to have a leather... But you just wear it for, like, you know, nights out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fancy, night, <laughs> fancy, fancy feasts. Fancy nights. Celebra celebratory feasts. Yeah, maybe you guys found, like, frozen turkeys everyone forgot about in the basement of an uh, yes, abandoned exactly. grocery store. And because it was underground... That, damn, would be a good thing. <laughs> I don't like that you're pointing at me with your bow staff. <laughs> I just want you to know how... Oh, dude, that's rubber I just, foam. I just want Christine? you to know... I just I want you to know... I don't actually want to fight Is it rubber foam? Win. Christine, get them. <laughs> get two six inch... Let's do this at home. Fuck this <laughs> show. Yeah, dude, get those. Buy those. Buy those right now. Two six-inch bow staffs? Can, wait, oh, can fuck you... fuck your world up. And can you buy me a nightstick? Oh, I want to show everybody that I've also ordered underwear recently. Christine! <laughs> <laughs> Off Amazon? This show's thing is anal lube yeah. for I him. I everything on Amazon. I go, what's a piss cry now? Christine, I don't need a training video. <laughs> I am a training a video. Six. Wait, so you do you want these? simply order... Oh, man. Uh, what, nightsticks? Yeah, just Why? to subdue. Oh, oh, nice joke to make when Black Lou's out of the room. Cool. These batons, real nice, Christine. Yeah, I feel like that's good training for double axes. Oh, sure, sure it is. No, it's not. They're yeah. police batons. Yeah. Could Fine rubber axes. Let's just go through. Let's go. Oh, rubber axes. Rubber hatchets. Rubber hatchets. Yeah, hatchet Dan! <laughs> uh, we got to come up with the list, dude. Yeah, I have it started on Amazon. I didn't so. mean to cannibalize the show, but that set me off. I mean... I no, Jacob. Surgical. Do you know what I the show time? is? No. You just need to push. You made a good point. <laughs> Bo and I'm proud Jay. of what you did. Bo Staff J was pointing. Yeah. And I have different opinions on how to make this whole zombie apocalypse knife kit work. Jay? And we'll pick accordingly. Dan? I need you to stop staffing me. Well, I just want to show you guys it's an extension of me at this point. Because I'll tell you this. What happens when I have double hatchets mm -hmm. and you come up like that, I mm -hmm. pull them off my side. Crossed arms. Crossed arms. And I cut your bow staff. Well, not this particular bow staff. It... It's a piece of metal that holds up pylons. And guess what? I bet you're going to make a spark. Nope. Cut right through it. The You'll make a point, it. for sure. Or well, I'll so you know it. that? Once your yeah, knives yeah. cluck the metal and fall back, yeah. and you leave that pike opened up right down the middle, yeah. Papa's coming right down the highway with a bow staff to the bottom of your chin. Guess what? Guess what? And you won't even know what happened. Guess what? I flip the ha hatchet around mm -hmm. on the bottom side of my forearm, yes. block, hatchet you in the knee. Right. That Here's the thing. <laughs> You think you're going to hatch at my knee, but you don't realize it is. I'm swing-kicking my leg up into the air 
to go over my staff, at which point, again, staff's coming up and clipping you in the chin again. And, while I and by the way, it's all because I don't want to hurt you. I need you to calm down. And I realize that. And You're I, zero to 60 right now. You gotta I'm trying to tell you where we find these frozen turkeys. I'm not listening to that at all right now, because all I know is that I've had a bow staff in my face too many times. And so now what I've done is I've avoided the kick while it's gone by my chin. I have grabbed your heel, delivered a blow to the hamstring, and then... While f- doing a front full flip landing on you, put the hatchet to your neck, asking, are we cool? And then I take the staff and simply three strikes on the ground. Yeah. And then you fall to a knee. As you know, I am your leader. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that. That's not how it goes at all. I have my neck You realize got out of hand? No. I, I, my... I secede that no, in, in any given hatch- fight, any given Sunday, you could probably pull off this win. Uh, a, a, an improbable win with your hatchet sticking to my bow staff skills. <laughs> yeah. You're coming in unskilled. I'm showing you I show up to the party with bow staffs. Let me tell you right now. I will fucking throw one of these Cold Steel C's S at 92 BK PTH BRK Trench Hawk trainers. Uh-huh. I'm going to whip one of those right into the fucking into the wall next to your head. Yeah, your aim will be great. Here's the problem. When I'm doing my swirl, my fanning of this bow staff. <laughs> yeah. You might as well try to shoot bolts in there. You're not going to get through, buddy, because it's you moving could. so fast. You know what? Why are we arguing? We all know our powers are greater together. Yeah. But we have to test one another, because we yeah. have to be strong for the enemy. Exactly. This is practice. This is this is an actual trainer. Yeah, but it's not rubber, is it? No, that's an axe. No, it's an axe. Yeah, it's definitely an axe. It's just um, it's not a I think it's not together, a. Uh, let's put a together axe. this list by the end of the episode. Knives list. Let's put it together. Jacob, can you help us we out? we got 10 minutes. I can help you with... We have 10 minutes, so let's go through knives. this. So you said uh, hatchets, what? Uh, hatchets and machetes, I got to research a little more, but like a folding knife, I said like the Buck Alpha is a great one. Well, bo- both have I'll the Buck you. Alpha. I, wish, I mean, if I could. Yeah, a folding knife's not my concern. No, that's for like cool your shoe, sh- but you want a fixed blade also. Yes, and a switchblade. Now, I... Crosslock or... A lot of the these knife alpha. sites I looked at show that the Rambo knife is still pretty popular. I have it. That's it. You already got it. Yeah, but I'm going to get one of these, too. I'm going to knife up. That's a great one. This With heavy-duty sheath? Yeah. Yeah, let's get two of those. You will love those. Thank you. Now, does it, does it, does it switch blade open? <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll open quick. I like Not a the, button, but it's a quick... Like how you do, do you do it? Just go it's like that. Just move it? It's, it's a assisted flick? open. Assisted open. It's a flick? Yeah. Oh, great. hell yeah. Like get that. two of those. How about a switch blade? I, I really want to go with Jacob's opinion. Spring. What? I, I, this is really well made. Yeah, let's go with Jacob's advice on this. Fucking Voss had one that like flicks open like a switchblade. It seemed like it was nice, heavy, well, sturdy. We're getting the Buck Knife Two Seventy Nine. And he's preparing for the post-apocalypse. He goes, "Listen, my hats and my shoes need to be protected. <laughs> I've been doing archery on the golf course. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie f- <laughs> lights my arrows and I shoot them. Flame them, Bonnie. You got the downrange tomahawk in there, Christine. But Dan is not a fan. It's not what he wants. Yeah, you gotta take Just that off. Keep our eye on. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Uh, Jacob, what's the next one? We have a, that's our that's our boot knife. What's next? I mean, fixed blade. Yeah, I saw some sick, sick ass ones. big knives. Is this a, is that a called a fixed blade? Like yeah, it one doesn't piece, go anywhere. It doesn't open. It doesn't fold. It doesn't fold. Let's that's do a fixed, a fixed blade. blade. What would you recommend? Well, I'm a buck guy and a case guy. And so let's but, go like, buck buck fixed knives. Yeah. You want a big eight-inch blade, right? Like that giant. Those oh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. I got that one. Yeah, baby! I own that one. That's great. Dude. I can swear by that one. It's razor sharp. Man, yeah. I don't like saying this. <laughs> no, dude. I like knowing it that you're kind really of dangerous. <laughs> no, I, we get it. It's when you throw uh, cantaloupes up in your house and try to stab them. Is that a wood handle? That's a rosewood handle, but you can get it in the black. Which no, I get that rosewood handle. Put that on my list. Wait, this one here? No, no above. the top one. I need something with a snake skin. That's a great one. Hell yeah, you do. I, I, like want, I, need, that, I need that wood. Yeah, that right there, that rosewood. That's Dan. That goes with his tan hat. I think hat. it's rosewood. I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, no, I just like the way it is. Stain great. nice. You have a, you're going to go with more autumn colors. Yeah. I'm going dark. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm earth tone. And some flash. Yeah, that's fine. I'm all earth tone. I'm very into the woods. I come out of the woods at weird places. Now these are. I was looking at some last night, Christine. I want one that looks obnoxious. Like pull, we'll Like, like I want like a. Uh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. Oh, you want some Dundee shit? I saw some biggies that I love. Well, I have a big one already. Um, like that a I Rambo. bought. That I bought in Canada when we got our ghillie How suits. How big? It is huge. Thank you, Gene Simmons. Uh, it's about nine inches. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's like this fucking big, and it's got the edges on the side, the teeth on the back, teeth on the front. Yeah, yeah, and some and a spike on bigger. the bottom. Christine, look at uh, some if you, if you look up. up machete 
knives. Well, we're going machetes. No, but I'm saying even when you look at machetes, some of them are the knives I'm talking about. Mm. When you look up the word machete, I've already got my. Oh, snakeskin. Yeah. What do you think about that one? <sighs> that's is that awesome. a fixed? Is that a fixed uh, blade? That's a that's a fixed blade. Yeah, the Reaper. Uh, that's a good one. Bucks. Yeah, I know. The, yeah, the look at that. I don't dude. know if I like that curve. Be yeah, pretty the cool though. Weird. My fixed knife, I'd like that. Well, look at the machete I'm talking about. Okay. Case makes a good one. Uh, K bar is the military. And by the way, everyone. Oh wait, feel go to the one, one of them's called the Hood Thug. Please get me that one. Uh, feel go back at, at home to put together your own knife list and let us know what you're going to be, what your weapon of choice is of for the apocalypse. Oh, that's mean right there. At the bonfire, SXM. The Hood Thug. Wow, they just don't. I tell you what, Jay, I'll send you photos of my stuff and you can pick up I will not accept any photo that's not you wearing ooh, all of your ooh, knives ooh, ooh. look at that I want that full fucking that's a steel bowie knife oh, that's a Perkin though no one cares is that Perkin is Perkin good I've never heard of it yes yeah, sir for 45 bucks I don't think it's gonna be 45 right. bucks I wouldn't buy any of these knives that, uh, that isn't over uh, a bill or two I would assume they're supposed to be like my rosewoods. Yeah, because 100. you're paying for the the good surgical steel, like the uh, yeah Amazon good also steel. discounted. I look at knives. I look at dick piercings. Always go surgical steel. <laughs> Dan, thoughts? Both staff me again, dude. I'm not both staffing. I'm both staffing towards you. Okay, you're, Dan, both, you're wanting me. Dan, you go. You're wanting me right now. It really hurts. Dan, it your hurts turn. Your turn to say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the talking stick. You touch it. You, you go touch go it. <laughs> Don't touch it. But get close to you. You can tell jokes if you I touch go. it. Oh, look at me! I'm doing voices now. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm being funny. No, I'm not. I didn't like you touching it. It was weird. I had a real reaction. You felt the power coursing through it. <laughs> 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 upset you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought of being drawn to you. Yeah, 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 you knew that Excalibur belongs to me. We we need to we need to get you a fixed knife, though, because we have to build this knife list by the end of this episode. All right, give me a fixed knife. Machetes well, and one, hatchets. Well, we have two minutes now. Two <laughs> minutes? Yeah. That one that you picked out. <laughs> this sucks. I hate when we have to leave. Why don't we just build this fucking list on the Lost Tapes next week? Is that, is that cool with you guys? That. Stuff. In my end, Jake will have some opinions. And also, we'll get some feedback from the listeners at the Bonfire SXM. Yeah, on they Twitter. have some great ideas oh, back. Boy, nice. have them. And also, remember, I listeners campers, really gonna... I am sticking with the. I will definitely be wearing the. Uh, why can't I think of Duster? the Duster? Yes, Duster. Thank you. Tan hat. Dark brown hat. Dark brown hat. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, black duster. Well, we don't need them to quaff our looks as much as we, we we're need. We're just letting you know what, what I'm we're kind looking of... for. We're looking for <laughs> weapon. <laughs> we're looking for close. <laughs> kind of, you know where I'm coming from. Close <laughs> combat <laughs> weaponry. Yes. Close combat weaponry Absolutely. and the coolest way to have them on your person. Yes, that's a big yes. deal. Yes. And and because one day we got to take pictures where we're all strapped up. Oh, dude. And the the new guy on Fear the Walking Dead kind of has a cross between that and the cowboy look, the Garrett Dillahunt. But mostly cowboys, this thing. Can we also, I, I want to bring this up because it's very important to me and I want the campers to weigh in. Footwear. What are some good boots? What are some good, because I'll tell you this. I've already thought about this. I know. I'm going with my boots, that my most uncomfortable big combat boots. And I was, but... I'm thinking very soon, because I really don't wear them yeah. much anymore, very soon, lining them with something. There's plenty of room in them, some fur, maybe, something that keeps them Badass. warm and super comfortable. Yes. And they've got yes. a boot heel like two inches thick. I would love to wear my high top Air Force Ones, because I feel like I could do a lot of athletic, cool parkouring things. <laughs> Jacob, this guy's talking about wearing Air Force Ones in the apocalypse. Okay. He really did stop watching his okay. season two, didn't he? <laughs> Jay? No, it's fine, Dan. Go ahead. Jay? Give your opinions on what your footwear is going to be. before you so rudely cut me off, and before I couldn't explain, that what I also have is Some a dress pair. shoes, maybe? Maybe some loafers? <laughs> Dan's like the what guy. What do you want? You think those tassels are going to get you out of some zombie problem? Dan's like, like the guy who tries to shake his buddy awake, because he thinks he's just passed out, but he doesn't realize he's a zombie. He's been turned into a zombie, you idiot. That's why you have a bow staff to it's poke from a distance. Go to Season Greg. One, episode one. Greg, go. are you alive, or go. are you a zombie? Greg, go. I'm staying far away with bow staff. I promise you when we go to Why don't Close and hold a uh, hold an axe up to his I, throat. I promise you right now. I fucking hate this show. When we go, <laughs> when we fall asleep tonight by this campfire, both of you guys are getting hatchets. Okay, Jacob, you're first. Right, right in the clavicle. You're right in the clavicle. I'm gonna take one of Jacob's arms. So when he wakes up, and by the way, it'll be tourniqueted. Black Lou <laughs> is the medic. 
Black Lou is our post-apocalyptic medic. So we'll tourniquet you, knock you out. You're going to wake up missing an arm. So that's <laughs> And then I'm going to look at you and I'm going to go, I took that arm from you. You know who's ready for the apocalypse? Uh, a, you didn't a, let me finish. A 19-year-old girl going to a Marilyn Manson concert. Their yeah. boots are all going to through anything. Oh my God, they could stomp through all the living dead. <laughs> I had a pair, what I said is, I have a pair of hiking boots that I think would be good because they're insulated and they're like comfortable. Great. And they're waterproof. Do they have a built-in sock? No. That's what I'm wondering. That's why I need recommendations for footwear before I was rudely interrupted by dissension in the ranks and you guys splitting. (laughs) Can I say this? I love the staff. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I didn't realize we so come much. together. When we do this, so we can be prepared for the the cold, dark world that's out there. Oh, we won't have any tiffs. And no. Zombie Lou will be there on a cool fucking. We'll get you a pearl a leash. jam leash. It's gonna be so great. And you only react when you hear veterans and you go, ah. Oh, that's how we set you off on the other veterans. We go, oh, and then he just starts fighting all the zombies. This is going to work out well. Shoot, uh, a Loa Renegade Gore-Tex Mid is, a, is the best they're saying, like all-terrain boot. Well, let me tell you this. No. It's going to make my ankle look fat. I won't wear it. I know you Post-apocalyptic or not, I'm going to look awesome. Yeah, you are. You I'm going to look awesome in the That's why you apocalypse. will die. <laughs> no, no, no. You're right. I will go I will go fashion over comfort. However, both staff's going to make sure I keep people at bay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look like I work at an REI. I'll tell you where you work right now in stand-up comedy. Oh, and you're going to be doing that in, in Sacramento. Sacramento. At the Punchline, September 20th through the 22nd. I'm there tonight, and then dude. Yuck, yuck. Oh, that's... I'm an idiot. I'm looking at uh, my dates. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Soder is going to be in Sacramento at the Punchline, September 13th through the 15th. And after that, he's going to be in Minneapolis at Acme, September 20th through the 22nd. For tickets and all the tour dates for Dan, go to Dan Soder. Dot com. Oh, this Saturday, September 15th, Big J and Ron Bennington coming to Philly's Keystone Comic Con. Go request tickets at theinterobang.com. And then if you are in the New England area, Big J's coming to Comics Mohegan Sun next Thursday through Saturday. That's the 20th through the 22nd. So go get tickets. And Calgary, he's coming to Yuck Yucks, September 28th through the 29th. Go to bigjcomedy.com for tickets for both those shows. Also to download the album Crowdwork Sessions Volume 2, I promise myself I wouldn't ask on Comedy Central Radio's out there right now. I'm going to burp and I'm so sorry. And the best of the bonfire uh, that airs here on Fridays on Sirius XM is now available as a podcast. You can download it at, uh, from iTunes yeah. or wherever else you uh, download podcasts from. Again, that's a good way for us to get our numbers, everybody. So yes. it's a half hour Click, uh, condensed best of the week. Uh, each week, Christine Black Lou put it together and it's... Uh, it's awesome. So if you want to get it, you know, at least subscribe, rate, review, download it. Let them know you're listening. Let us know you're listening. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Lost Tapes. Have a good weekend, motherfuckers. We'll be, back with, we'll be back with much more short-range weapon. Go Thank Niners. You. Right now, the best 0-1 team in the NFL. Hopefully the best 1-1 go team. Go Birds, go Niners. Go Birds, go Niners. Boo, Cowboys. There's no... Yeah, the Cowboys aren't going to...